Hey, it's Booty Quick from Roller Derby Athletics, and today we're gonna get you some badass plow stops. All right, to do a great plow stop, we need three important ingredients. Number one, we need hip internal rotation. So we need that mobility in our hips so that we can like wipe the floor with our heel and come to a grinding stop. So we need that mobility. We need knee stability. It is super tempting to let your knees cave in towards the middle as you're doing all of this. That's not a strong position. It's not giving you great power and it's not great for your knees ultimately. So we're gonna work on knee stability and you need adductor strength, okay? That's the muscles that lift your legs out to the side and you need that strength to be able to push against the ground and come to that dead hard stop and blah stops. Okay, so we're gonna work on those with some really basic, simple exercises We'll give you amazing plow stops. Let's go. So you're gonna get into this here position and then you can lean forward over your front leg and start to rotate those little leans out a little more. When you lean back out of the stretch, feel free to let your back hip kind of sink and rotate. So you're gonna get even more of that rotation happening. All right, our next stretch is a little bit sexy. You're gonna go into a frog stretch. So you're gonna sit your butt back towards your heels. Then you're gonna come forward and you're gonna kick your heel up towards your face. And then go back into the frog stretch and then forward, flex foot, heel up towards your face. So make sure that as you're doing this and you're kicking that heel up, that you're actually feeling your glute work and that you're really bringing your foot as far forward as you can. Don't just bring it to here, like really kind of press into it. And this is gonna give you a muscle activation that's gonna turn on that internal rotation for you. All right, now that we've got our mobility, we're gonna start working on those strong knees so that we don't buckle our knees in. For the rest of this workout, you're going to need a TheraBand. So just tie it in a loop, put it around your legs. We're gonna do banded squats. So you're resisting against the band as you go down and up, keeping your knees from wiggling in and out as you go down and up. Banded squats are basically the best. Do them all the time. Side steps with a band on. Just step strongly to the side, not letting your knees cave in, and go for distance. So I like to do about 10 steps in one direction, and then 10 steps in the other direction. Rest, repeat. All right, another variation of this that I really like is monster walks. So it's the same kind of idea, but you're moving forward and backward. Always keeping your knees out over the outside of your toes and staying strong, staying in a bent leg position, just like you would be if you were in a plow stop. All right, let's really translate this into the exact plow movement. So take your band and put it around your feet this time. You're gonna get into a nice derby stance and you're going to rotate your foot out against the resistance of the band, plant it, and come back. Plant, come back. Now really think of pushing the ground away from you, and while you're doing this, watch that standing knee, okay? Don't let your standing knee come in on you like this. Keep that strong by engaging this glute, okay? So you gotta have this strong while you're doing this. Slow it down to make it harder, okay? So instead of just uh, getting onto that crutch of that foot outside. Make it nice and slow, rotate, plant, and come back. That's it. Go forth and plow the heck out of things with those exercises. Please let me know what you think about this video. Send me a comment, send me an email. You know where to find me at rollerderbyathletics.com. And please, if you think that someone else could uh, make use of this, please go ahead and share this with a teammate so that they can be awesome too. All right, I'm Booty Quake. I just kicked your ass, now you can go kick somebody else's.